Welcome YouTubers to another unboxing review. Uh, we'll get to that in a sec. Today we're saying goodbye to Loki Bus. This is being boxed up, going off to a new seller. So I had a random tracking number in my UPS account. Had no flipping idea what it was. And when I open it, I was very pleasantly surprised. I just opened that top layer. So, but it's many parts. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. But this is by Infinity Studios. It's the Trinity Display. They showed this off a while ago saying, hey, if you ordered uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, we're going to send this to you. So I emailed them immediately. And I basically never heard back. <laughs> they kind of ghosted me. And I just figured I wasn't going to get it. And here we are. So these are all metal, by the way, everything I'm taking out. You know, like, check that out. That is heavy as pho. Has a magnet there. And uh, there is something right there, but uh, I'll just remove this. See what we got. Okay, it's just the bases. Yeah, and they're also metal. Let's just get it out. All right, so this is what you get. Now, this also is quite heavy and feels almost metallic. And they are different in the shape. You know, like that is a different shape than this one. Plus that one is the back is full. This one is not. And that one is a little bit different as well. I'm not 100% sure which one goes where, if I'm brutally honest. They don't actually have instructions or anything. I may just have to look at the photos, but you know, like let's say you wanted to do Wonder Woman there. Is that gonna, no, like that. I don't know if maybe this is Batman. It's a strong magnet, but you know, like in essence, you could have it like that. And I guess you could just switch it up. I'm gonna look at their official photo because I do like to have things, you know, the official way, but this is more or less it. Yeah, it's just felt on the bottom. It, it feels like it's all metal. Like, this is nice. I wish it didn't say Justice League, but instead said Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. And then, if anything, do Justice League right there. So, I would probably change that. Otherwise, it does look fantastic. I like having the three emblems of, you know, the Trinity. I think this is going to go great in my display. I'm going to fix them how they're supposed to look and then set it up in the Trinity display. Alrighty, so this was the original post. You know what's funny? I actually got it right. <laughs> I actually got it right. Uh, that is crazy. I literally just guessed. What are the odds? So yeah, let's go ahead and put in the display. Alrighty, folks. So here it is in the Trinity display. Kind of hard to see on camera in person. I can see it perfect. Uh, but, you know, like here is the Superman display. Now, the way I have this done is I have coin on left, that in middle, prop on right with the movie, poster, you know, bust in one third. So that looks great. Uh, then you have the Wonder Woman version, which has coin, that, and her prop is really just on the wall. First, you know, not going to put that right there. Plus, she's holding a prop. And then I have the Wonder Woman movie, the COAs. So here is the Wonder Woman version. So that looks awesome. Nice, good little presence. It fits my Trinity display really well. And then Batman coin that. And then his prop, because he had a big empty space there, just the battering. Since there's one right here, I figure. Right there is best. Uh, so, yeah, there is that. You know, matching posters and props and everything. Now this display can truly be called complete. Yeah, and this one we do the Batman vs. Superman movie. That, man, I still. Yeah, I'm real happy Infinity sent this. I think it was pretty classy of them to do it. Plus, they're pretty high quality. You know, like, like I said, they're heavy and they're metal. So, I like it. Thank you, Infinity Suits, for actually sending this to me. I wish you would have emailed me, hey, Sean, we, you know, shipped this to you. Here's your tracking number. Because I asked probably four times an email, hey, what's the status of this? And they never told me. It just showed up today. And I was like, holy crap. So, they really need to work on their customer service. 
but I am happy I got this because I really did want it. The moment I saw this, I was like, oof, I want that. You know, because for me, I like displaying stuff like this next to my statues. I think it just looks awesome. So I'm very happy to have it, you know. So this whole D DC display just looks absolute killer. And I'm loving it, you know. So Mara J&D is the next DC one-third we're getting. And according to spec, she's about one month out. So end of July, which is fine because I need time to save money because she is very expensive. And then I'll get Black Adam, Bell Bust. Now, those are kind of the final DC statues I'm getting. You know, I canceled J&D Wonder Woman. I just don't need it. You know, this display is so top-notch for me. And, you know, I also don't have... Anywhere to put another random JD, unless we do a JD girls display, you know. But I like the way I think the display turned out. I think it was the right move to make the Marvel wall and do what I did, more or less like continuing with, you know. And I almost canceled Steppenwolf. I'm glad I didn't because I think he's amazing. I'm very happy I got Aquaman, Mara, Harley, my dedicated Dark Knight, which is separate, you know, which I, I think turned out really nicely. So I'm very happy with how this turned out you know and i can't sell hulkbuster or iron man mark four you know mark seven so i'm probably just going to keep this as is and just my luck you know i canceled my mark seven bus through spec fiction because he wasn't going to get it for a long time and then i ordered it through one of my chinese resellers and when he got it it arrived broke so that bus is just cursed it honestly is cursed. Uh, this is my alternate DC display I'm just doing right here. You got Shazam. I threw my Snyder Cut poster right there. And then we're going to put Black Adam in the middle with his movie. And then I just put Joker one third here. You know, I'm fine keeping this Joker because I do like it. And it will look good in this display. You know, with Black Adam. Like all the like standalone movies. If you want to call it. Because Shazam and Black Adam weren't really part of the... Like, truly part of the Snyderverse. I mean, yeah, sure, you sort of saw Superman, you saw Wonder Woman, but they weren't really intertwined too much. And Black Adam, you only saw Superman and, I guess, Amanda Waller. Joker is definitely completely separate, but, yeah, we'll throw Black Adam right here. And if I somehow do sell Hulkbuster, I may just throw all three of those pieces right there instead. But, you know, we'll see. I can't tell the future. Anyways, that is it for the little Infinity Studio, you know, Trinity props. Just give you one last good look at these bad boys. They're a decent size, and they overall look great. So thank you, Infinity Studios. If you could just send me a new Aquaman arm like I've emailed you, that'd be awesome too. Anyways, folks, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.